UAF has been um, working with unmanned aircraft in a, since about 2001. And we've been trying to find civilian applications um, for this military technology. Most of the civil users want a map. They want a, how, how accurate is the picture on, laid on the ground, um, maybe a multi-spectral photograph. Um, their problem's not video based. So we've been trying to build new payloads and we also are trying to be an interface between the aircraft manufacturers who have a product and the customers who have an application but don't really understand what the technology can do, what its limitations are, what its features are. So we're trying to help match the right technology with the right applications and looking for civil purposes. We're keeping this very small and specific. The UFA was very generous on letting us test this equipment. It's, you know, it's a process to get a permit. So what we told them is we were going to keep it within 200 feet. We're not going to be flying high in the air and being crazy. We're going to keep it in line of sight and we're going to use it for very specific purposes. We want to look at shoreline to see where the damage could be and what we could do to clean it up. Normally it takes a team of a handful of people or more to deploy onto a shoreline and spend hours there surveying a shoreline and collecting that data. What we're trying to do with this technology is speed that process up and also provide hard video data that can be sent to a broad range of users for operations, for environmental management, for just situation briefings. It's got capabilities to do what we call geomapping, which is a way just to literally draw a map or, or place information on a georeferenced a map, basically. And that's measurable. We're going to have to sit down with BP and figure out what are, the, what are the high value projects to work on next? SCAT being one for sure, and we work off a boat, but you know, they've been talking about how to tie it to operations, um, how to tie it to North Slope work. So they've actually built a very um, robust system for what, it, what it's designed for. I'm impressed with what they've got here. I mean, you hear the waves more than you hear that thing flying. But the robustness of this, to be able to, to walk along the beach at you know, um, six feet in the air, eight feet in the air, and take the same kind of perspective of a photograph that you would get from an eyeball, or if you had a camera in your hand and taking pictures, what would you be seeing? To do that without ever touching the beach is kind of a nice concept. Well, we hope to do more of this work. Um, we hope to do to be, get to a point where we become more operationally ready. Um, since we did get a permission from the FAA to do this operation, um, we, we have some experience getting what they call an emergency certificate, um, where if there's any place in the United States today that BP needed to take this technology, we could probably within 24 hours get permission to operate now. So having gone through the process, the rigorous processes we went through the university to get this permission, even though we're still learning exactly how to use it from a research perspective, we could be operationally supported, support a mission tomorrow, anywhere in the country.